New charges bring some relief to a local family torn apart after a toddler drowns in a koi pond. This is about a little boy that lost his life. He won't get to celebrate birthdays. He won't get his first day of school. An 18-year-old babysitter is now being charged with involuntary manslaughter and felony neglect in connection with that child's death. Good evening, I'm Tony Lopez. And I'm Adrian Moore. CBS 13's Jennifer McGraw is live at the Yuba County Courthouse with details on this disturbing case. Jen. Tony and Adrian, just a heartbreaking story. It happened less than a year ago, but now the DA is pressing charges. They say after a thorough investigation, they can prove the babysitter was negligent. He was a, a beautiful child. He was always smiling. At only 10 months old, Stephen Riker Garrett Smith's life was cut short tragically by the koi pond he grew to love. An accident his grandmother says should have been avoided. There was a door that was left open and he somehow got outside into the pond. Nearly a year after Stephen's death, now 19 years old, Eva London, who was babysitting, is being charged with a crime. Very avoidable accident. It was a series of very bad choices that were made and had one of those choices not been made along the way, he would be, we would still have Stephen here with us today. Gina Day says her daughter is taking it the hardest. Watching my own child lose her child is indescribable. You want to try to take the pain away and you can't. There's nothing you can do. A tragedy that's torn two families apart. The boy's father is also close with London's family and is finding it hard to pick a side. My son needs justice, but, you know, this is my family. Well, there's nothing that will bring Stephen back. Day wants London, who is now expecting herself to know the pain she's caused. We definitely think that some jail time might be uh, a way to, to wake her up. Both families now vowing to stand up for their loved ones through this painful process in something they can all agree was a tragic accident. London is being held on a $100,000 bond and is facing 12 years behind bars. She will be back in court later this month. There are no words. What an adorable baby. Jen, thanks for that update. New tonight.